Hi, my name is Paul. And I'm Luke. We are Twin Sauce, and uh, we were inspired by Madison Bush. Me? To do a Hot Ones episode. If you don't know what Hot Ones is, it's basically an interview show. As they ask questions, they eat wings that get hotter and hotter with each question. We just so happened that we got a PR package last week from the Chiefs with a whole pack of sauces that are hot. We are gonna interview each other and we're gonna pretend like we don't know what's going on, but obviously we do. We don't know which way the hotness goes and we have no idea, some, they this don't one, a, they don't have any this like, one. this one might be the hottest, we don't know. How do you deal with heat? I, oh, um, pretty good actually, so. My nose is already running, so we're gonna see how that goes. But, yeah, that's uh, true, but this is just normal. That's normal That's normal for me, yeah. <laughs> uh, <science infection. laughs> there are spices outside of my range. Right, absolutely. So I'm hoping one of these lands Outside your outside range. Outside that range. What about you? Um, I, yes, most of these same. I have to say, of these, so let's just name these off. So we've got habanero hot sauce. We have cayenne hot sauce. We've got ghost pepper barbecue sauce. I've got Trinidad scorpion barbecue sauce. And we've got a Kansas City Reaper barbecue sauce. So again, we don't know. We have no idea which we have one no the idea. hottest. So. But first of all, let's just jump into this whole thing and, and, and get started with this one. Sure. For fun, start. just because we don't know. We don't know this. You be. have to eat the wing first, and then I'll ask you a question. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Jeez Louise. Oh, is, geez, that, is, that, is that way too much? Probably. I'm just gonna toss these in. You know. Toss them. Flip them. I don't want to just like fling them all over the place, but I might. Oh, smell that. Oh, smells good. good. It yeah. smells like um, the spicy one from uh, from Casey Joe's. Yeah. All right. First one. Alrighty. Wing, Kansas City Reaper. Here we go. Kansas City Reaper. Here Let's go. go. Cheers. I guess. Okay, it's just really good. There's some heat though. <laughs> the first question is, how'd you get your start? We started back in 2012. We had just discovered the the, the world of vloggers. The vloggers, yeah. yeah Especially like Mika Kitty and US, a lot. US based vloggers mostly. I didn't know a lot about the British. The UK yeah, at the time. At the time, yeah. But we just decided hey, just 2011. We I make videos, I could we could do this. You know, Instagram was in college and then the beginning of, like TikTok was obviously like just a couple years ago, but yeah, um, it's been, it's just been an evolution. An evolution. Yeah, it started with slow, YouTube. Slow going, slow rise ever yeah. since the beginning. Yeah, but. that's how we got our start. Yeah. All right. Mm. Oh, that's like tropical. Oh, ketchupy. Yeah. That's sweet. When did you start dancing? So, well, so before we started dancing, we, we always were into weird things because we couldn't play sports. Yeah. The school wouldn't let us. We were homeschooled. So with that, we had a lot of um, creativity with getting active. And we were mm -hmm. a very active family. So I remember when we were really little learning to play basic things like football, basketball, the basic rules, things like that. We had a trampoline for a long time. Yeah. And I think that was influential in learning about our bodies and like how they move and, you know, doing things like flips and tumbling, things like that. And so... When we were probably um, 11 or, tw well, probably 12 or 13, we saw Jump In and we started double dudging. And in that movie, there was some dancing and I remember trying to incorporate some of that stuff that we were mm -hmm. watching them in, in um, the double dudging. Yeah. And we, we double dudged a lot. My calves were huge when I was like 14. Yeah. After that, we saw High School Musical, which I know, no. I'm not drinking anything till the end. Oh my gosh, it, well, no. <sighs> my lips, it's, a, it's just the lip. It's like not even anything else, it's just my lips burn. <laughs> I'm gonna um, need, Madison Bush had carrots, I need some carrots. Life tip, <laughs> eat carrots. Need some carrots. <laughs> no, so then we saw High School Musical and that was the real start of yeah. the dancing. And I, I don't remember exactly how old we were, probably 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. And then um, we had some natural aptitude there. Yeah. We were naturally gifted and in some ways um, that we were able to learn. But then, yeah, that grew. But there was no so, asset. There, we, mm -hmm. we had no access to anything to teach us other than YouTube. Right. Uh, YouTube and movies, and we would um, copy and watch YouTube videos all the time. And then college. And then, then college, college we started training. training and then, yeah. And then really the last two years, we've really seen a lot of growth. It seems like. Yeah. And all, also on our platforms, but then also. But in our dance in our dance experience well. and, mm -hmm. and, and um, training as well. Yeah. So. Very good. Yeah. Cool. This one is Ghost Pepper. Yay. I'm kind of hoping, I'm, I know that these are just barbecue sauces, these first ones. They've been good, but they're good. I just, I'm hoping this one's got some, got some major heat. This one's a lot, this one's a lot thicker than, the, those, wow, these are poured more. a lot in there. I can still see. Okay. <laughs> Lucas' nose has been running the whole time. Cheers. I'm gonna enjoy it. That one's honey-ish. I wonder if the heat's all in the back end. I mean, I know ghost pepper generally is a little delayed. It was getting toasty. What do you do 
for a living. Oh, this is a good one. Um, okay, so for me, so I run a video photo production company. What? Um, no, Paul. Shh, shh, um, I run a photo video production company <laughs> that's in uh, located in Kansas City, and so we, um, or I primarily work with influencers, um, helping them develop content for online for online use. Not always. Sometimes it's commercial, or I've worked on some TV shows and um, weddings, weddings, a lot of weddings and stuff like that. Events, event coverage, um, construction. Ironically, so um, yeah, just all sorts of things. But right now, I'm trying to lean more into that influencer market. Is it getting toasty on you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That ghost pepper was like, huh, it's like sweet, like honey, and then it was like, huh, sweet, love, honey. <laughs> in the back of my throat, I can't. Well, what I do for a living is a little bit different. I am a general manager for a independent coffee shop and um, restaurant in Kansas City. We have two locations, and um, we are able to produce a lot of really high quality coffee. We roast and everything. It's mm-hmm. really fun, but. Um, yeah, it's a little bit sad because I'm actually leaving there. I know. Um, and so, going on full time as an influencer. I don't really like that word. I don't either. I so here's the deal. Here's what you're doing: is you're quitting to come work for me. Yes. And then it, while working for me, we're growing this thing into yes. something that can support us, and then yes. that can be both of our full time gigs. Absolutely. So that's what I do. Moving on, next one. Let's go. Ooh. Sometimes I think the faster you go, it's better. Oh shoot! That's like so. This is hot sauce. So this changes from barbecue sauce to hot sauce. This is cayenne hot sauce. Um, so it's a much different. Excuse me. This might be toastier. This might be toastier. Well, I'm kind of hoping so because these have not been that hot. I mean, they are hot. Like, they're Later. like yeah. there's some heat, but we got to get some cringe. This is just like really, it's like vinegary and like you're gonna yeah drippy. <laughs> you ready? To, are you throwing it all in? I'm taking bites. Okay. All right. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's real good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Would, 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 how would you describe that? That's a little Tabasco-y. I wanted that to be spicier than it was for hot sauce. Mm-hmm. But, just wait. It's good. I'm just not a huge hot sauce fan, like just straight up hot sauce. Cause I'm really? Like, like, what do you mean? I like, like I'm, I'm a sriracha boy, you know? I like, I like, the, whew, like chili heat. Chili heat. I don't like the vinegary heat as much. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. The vinegar based On sauces. occasion it's okay, but because it, it like blends well with like rice and stuff, like mm-hmm. you, typically they're more heat oriented, less flavor oriented. But that's not this one was not bad. Next question about the gimme gimme controversy. Oh, the gimme gimme. So if you don't know, we filmed this video on TikTok and it went absolutely viral. It did go viral. It's got like what is 22 it? Twenty two million views and five million likes, which is pretty crazy. And the comments are bizarre because so there's the the official video that we posted originally, and then which now has over a million views, which has which over is, a million views, but cool. it's still like. Mainly due to the other video. Right, yeah, um, because of the other video's success. Right. But what happened is, in the comments of that big video, because the, what happened was the video was from a, a guy, Mark, that saw us recording and filmed it from his thing and then saw it on Instagram and sent us that video on Instagram. I synced it to music and then posted it with his permission on TikTok. And it went absolutely and it viral. Went viral. And everyone thinks that it's green screened. Everyone thinks the original video is green screened because the lighting was bouncing off the buildings just right to make it look like we were forelit and backlit. So it looked like it was a studio. It right. looked studio. It looks really lighting. good. But then there was controversy because the car turns at the end because there's multiple takes that we did. Yeah, so in the and original video. People do video, not understand that. In the original video, there's a car that turns right at the end, and I yeah. almost hit the car jumping out of frame, mm-hmm. which is not good, but it was fine. I was fine. I never touched the car, but no. like it got close. But in the the video that that Mark filmed it was from before. his window, it was before that take. Yeah, which, so, so that was the thing. Yeah, that a lot of people were like, "It's green screen, it's green screen," and then people were saying in the comments. But then people would see both videos and they were like, "Wait, but how does that?" No, that then people were still sense. saying like, "No, that that's just more evidence that it's green screen. I could do this." And then I was like, "Oh my god." Well, no, we can't win. It, there was there was multiple people because there was one guy that was like, "This is green screen," and they went to the other videos like, "When it's proven, it's not green screen." But then other people were like. This is this is like no people are saying on the original on the original yeah, like video. because we don't look like we have shadows because we have that reflective light yes. that's hitting us and then we have sunlight yes. hitting us. So anyway, so regardless, a lot of people thought it was either faked like it was green screened and then oh and they thought the car was driving on the sidewalk. Yeah, they thought the car was driving on the sidewalk. Was, it wasn't the case. And we people were, were really mad that we were dancing in the road even though we were dancing on a, a closed road. That so that lane was closed. Mm-hmm. So they paved it and they were still working on the intersection and so the intersection on the other side. And so that part of the road was closed. So we were just dancing 
in on a closed, closed road. We never had to worry road. about it. Yeah, yeah, never ever had to worry no about it. No one was ever. It was a Sunday afternoon, so nobody was around. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. It was wild, but more easy on this one. Easy. Oh, this one's a lot creamier. Oh, good. I'm, I have high hopes for this one. And again, I actually don't know. But you have high hopes for this one, but we'll see. I hope it's I just got a little taste of it. Alrighty, here we go. Last. Oh, I've, already, I've already got it. Ooh. Mm. That's the hottest one so far. Explain that, Graham! <laughs> Woo! So we went to our personal ones and went way back. That's hot. And chose a couple, couple photos. Um, nope. I'm not doing water. I know you're not, but I am. Weak. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Water doesn't help. Um, Give you photos. Give you photos. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. Go! What are you doing? I can't talk. Which one do you want to do first? First! Why are you with all these old people on your Instagram? Mm. Okay, so <sighs> we worked at a swimming pool and we'd work really early mornings. <laughs> I don't touch my eyes. We were <clears throat> we work in the mornings at like 5.30 in the morning, old people would come and walk. And so these were our friends that we made walking in. We'd just sit there and talk with them in the morning because we were bored. It was so early in the morning. Every morning, and you were there every morning. And so we got to make friends with them. And one time we went out and got Greek food, and this was when we made that. <laughs> that was when we were quitting. Yeah. Was, and we ended yeah. up coming back and working there longer, but anyway, we were yeah, supposed we to quit there. We were supposed to quit there. Yeah. And that's when they wanted to take us out to Greek food. Oh, um, this is my van! This was my this is sexy Zeb. This yeah. is a van Paul drove through college. It was my best van. I loved it. It was a we we put blue doors on it because don't touch your eyes. Okay. Why do we put blue doors on that? Because it, a bad rust problem. And so my brother Stephen worked at an auto body shop and he found a blue van, a blue doors on a van, and he was like, we should just put that on your van. And I said, okay. So I did. And then I thought we called it sexy Zeb because it looked like a zebra. And so, that's why. Luke, tell us about this picture because it's a really great picture. This photo is of, uh... It's a great uh, memory. <laughs> that is. Caleb and Corey Vetter and Wes um, Elder produced a movie called The Matchbreaker. And in The Matchbreaker, they used a lot of YouTube celebrities to okay. act in it. We knew them, but we didn't know them when they actually filmed the process of the video. And so, uh, during the premiere, we had met them and they asked if we would come and film BTS of uh, the premiere in Los Angeles. And it just so happened that Tessa Violet and Naolu, um, Shauna, were there for the premiere. And um, Shauna and Tessa were two of the main reasons we had even did we even did YouTube. Yeah. Like they were huge, huge, huge influences in us. Mika Kitty and Nanalu were there. Yeah, Mika Kitty and Nanalu yeah. were their like hub names. And now Tessa Violet's like a huge pop star and she's big on TikTok too. She's yeah. she's on big on TikTok too as well. Yeah. So like all the best to her and um Shauna's doing a ton with Twitch, Twitch yeah. streaming and stuff. So it's great to see them like evolve and we don't keep up with them as much as we, we should. And yeah. honestly, we didn't know them personally at this point. Other than either. like just like acquaintances. But it was so fun to get to know them and hang out with them throughout this weekend because yeah, that was it really was like a time. huge like um, surreal. It was a good time. It was really fun. They were yeah. really, really cool people. What's your favorite stuff to watch on YouTube, Paul? So, some people I really like. Uh, Mar Marquez Brownlee with MKBHD. I love always, him. Always, always. Um, I watch a lot of his stuff. I watch a lot of the, the, the new rock stars, yes. which is um, about Marvel content, and I love them. Or they just, trend every time they open a video. They're incredible guys, and I just I want to buy. I all love their Defunct merch. Land. Anything about the yes. different parks? Yes, Defunct um, Land's good. Um, last but not least, Paul, where can we find you and what's going on? Oh, uh, you can find uh, Luke and I on TikTok. Uh, we post there daily, and then we're posting on Instagram daily as well. Instagram is probably the best place to get. To get notified <coughs> of what's going on, we do go we do go live on YouTube every Monday night. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna try to start producing weekly content on YouTube. It's just been a challenge until you quit your job in a month yeah. okay. to be able to do that. So, um, but yeah, just stay tuned if you want to subscribe. And also, we have a PO box if you want to send us anything. You can. It is listed in all of our like bio and everything. Like so what they did. It. They sent us like what they did. Sauce. They sent us PR. So if you're a PR person and you want to send also, us anything, if you have like a favorite hot sauce you want us to try, please send it. I love trying new hot sauces. And honestly, of all of these, this one was the best, even though it was very hot. I don't know. I really liked this. This one. yes, this one was very good. It was really good. This one's a little too sweet for me. This one's like very. Anyway, um, the Chiefs they lost the game, so they Sorry, will not Chiefs. be going to, on to the Super Bowl, which we were hoping to get this out before the Super Bowl, <laughs> because we were hoping they'd be in the Super Bowl. But you know, you win, you lose some. Yeah. Um, but also, okay. Chiefs, thank you for sending us the sauce, guys. I hope you got to know us a little bit better, and we'll talk to you later. Don't die. Okay, bye. <laughs>